We have to begin this morning with a journalistic sin at Rolling Stone. It is now making national headlines, and it's all about this bombshell article, A Rape on Campus, which described in brutal detail the gang rape of a freshman named Jackie who attended a frat party at the University of Virginia two years ago. The university basically ignored her allegations until the moment this article was published, November 19th. It called attention to the prevalence of sexual assault on campuses all across the country, which is exactly what the reporter, Sabrina Rubin Erdley, wanted to have happen. UVA's president issued a swift response. She suspended all fraternity activities on campus and promised a full investigation. But portions of the 9,000-word story came under scrutiny from other journalists, partly because Rolling Stone's editors agreed when Jackie asked them not to contact the seven alleged rapists. In other words, the writer only got Jackie's side of the story. And there are now big questions about the accuracy of Jackie's account. This is, of course, very awkward to say. But on Friday, Rolling Stone came out and said there were discrepancies and apologized. We should say they have not fully retracted the story. The editors, in the meantime, have declined my interview request. But here's what I can report this morning. All this weekend, those editors have been belatedly fact-checking the article. They are reviewing what went wrong. One anonymous editor told me this. We are taking these matters very seriously. But the fact that this editor refused to be quoted by name shows you just how damaging this has been for Rolling Stone. Jobs are on the line now. Also, and frankly, more importantly, there are questions and concerns about the damage that might be done to other victims of sexual assault. I have a fellow student who knows Jackie standing by in Charlottesville, 